Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you guys a way to get rid of a really annoying error. Uh, this error affects a lot of E60 5 Series BMWs. It's really common, I get a, I see a lot of cars with it. I see, I get a lot of emails about, about how to fix this error. So today, I'm gonna to show you guys a way how to hopefully fix it on your vehicle. Now this is the error I'm talking about. It's a passion restraint error. You'll get this message that pops up when you start the vehicle. You also get this airbag light above the seatbelt one comes on it stays on it's really annoying you get the triangle right there uh, it gets really annoying uh, a couple things that could cause this is the the mat that's on your uh, chair here your seat here if the mats going bad or out and doesn't detect anybody sitting here uh, it will cause an error a bad battery will also cause this error um, but I found the majority of the time where I had fixed this it was the battery safety terminal the BST cable this is the, the battery cable that's in the, your rear passenger boot now if that cable goes bad it will cause this error and i found that the majority of the time it is that cable uh, a cable costs about 250 dollars from the dealer um, but i'm going to show you guys a way how to put a bypass on that cable to get rid of this message and it'll be very cheap um, if you're looking at my screen here it this is the i just did a retrofit on the cic so i'll do another video on that but for now i'm just going to show you guys how to get rid of this error the BSC cable is located in your trunk. Um, to get rid of this thing, there's gonna be a couple of uh, little screws, a little thing that pops in here. You take it off, I already took in mine off. So you just lift this up. Now you're just gonna need uh, some wire cutters. This is your BSC cable right here. This is the BSC cable. A lot of times, the BST cable will get messed up when a lot of people change their battery and then they wiggle this thing around. There's a little sensitive fuse in here that if the fuse goes bad or gets hit or anything, it will damage it. So this whole cable, I mean, the, the power will work, but this little part right here won't. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do a bypass. Really simple. It's just using a 2 ohm resistor. Now, this is the cable we're going to be talking about right here. It's usually taped up on here with this one. It's this one right here. It has a little zoom right here. So all you're going to have to do is just snip it right here. You can unplug this. Now that we have our cable, I'm just going to go inside and show you guys how to uh, solder in the pipe, uh, the 2 ohm resistor. All right, now that we have the cable off the vehicle, uh, all we're going to do now is just solder a 2 ohm resistor between these two cables here. Uh, so we're going to do that right now. It's going to Cut a little bit of these on. And once you uh, solder it in, what I like to do is just, uh, I get some heat shrink tubing. And there, that's it. This is ready. All we have to do now is just install it back onto the vehicle. Okay, once you got your cable made, all you have to do now is just uh, connect it back and clean it up a bit. 
we'll connect this back and you get a couple zip ties you know i like to fold this back in here i'm just going to zip tie to the existing wire loom and the wire is down here i have it right here but you can um uh, you can either cut it more and, and put some heat shrink tubing on it and, and hide it, but I just like to tuck it back here and then you can just hide it out. So once you're done, you can't even see anything. It's nice and clean and everything's hidden. Um, all you have to do now is just go back in the car uh, and clear the error out. All right, once you're done installing the cable, all you have to do now is just uh, reset the error. Uh, make sure you use a program that can reset the uh, Passion restraint error, uh, I'm not sure a regular OBD2 code reader that can erase codes can, can do it. Um, I like to use IMPA. Now all you do is just go to uh, E60, functional jobs, and click right here F4 error, and clear error memory. Uh, once it clears, you'll notice that it did uh, it did go away from my screen and once we turn on the car there's no more error on the dash on the cluster and it does not show back anymore on here and that's it a uh, very simple, easy way to get rid of a really annoying, very common error. Um, please check out my other videos, uh, leave comments, anything, any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I set up a little website so I can put more videos up or anything you guys, uh, any little products I might sell or make. Uh, my website is roskinc.com. Um, for people who maybe can't make their own cable, uh, I'll probably start offering uh, the cable for to buy uh, if you guys need it or any anything else you guys uh any questions or try to put more videos up um, so stay, uh, subscribe and thanks for watching